And we've got to get to the southern border now where we're looking at how illegal immigration in Yuma County, Arizona has been threatening the food supply. Allie Bradley explains exactly what that means uh, and how farms are being protected now. Allie? <laughs> Yeah, you're exactly right, Adrian. So did you know that 90% or more of our leafy green vegetables are actually produced in Yuma County? Well, farmers there were saying that the food supply and that those leafy green vegetables were being impacted by illegal immigration. Now, despite we, us seeing an increase in immigration over the last week with these shipping containers in place from Governor Doug Ducey, the ag industry is actually praising the move. Broccoli, lettuce, kale, just a few of the vegetables America relies on Yuma County to produce. The farmers in Yuma are tasked to supply the United States with, and Canada with 92% of the leafy greens grown from the months of November to April. Local farmers say these crops have been in jeopardy and that would have a massive impact on our national food security. The flood of illegal immigrants around our production fields was cause for great concern for our farm worker safety, the illegal immigrant safety, food safety, and ultimately our nation's food security. If a farmer can't harvest the celery or the crop, it impacts them monetarily and it impacts the rest of the country. Yuma County Sheriff Leon Wilmot says the governor filling some of the major gaps that led straight out to the fields has helped curb some of the issues farmers were facing. Our concern was the fact that our farmers were being impacted by individuals coming across, not only to turn themselves into border control, but some to get away, but they were defecating in the farm fields. That's a pretty significant issue. Now, when I talked with Sheriff Wilmot yesterday, he showed me the fields and he said that there were no migrants out in the fields anymore. He has not been getting complaints from any of the farmers. He says that he feels like the, the project is working. And he also says because they're, they're kind of focused now in a funnel, he's able to go out and do his job more efficiently in the community. And that's one of the reasons why. Let me just show you this. This is out here at the armory in Nogales. This is uh, east of Yuma by about four hours. This is along the southern border in Arizona. And these shipping containers here at the armory are in line to basically uh, fill some of the other gaps along the Arizona border. Now, when we asked the governor exactly when and where that would happen, he said he doesn't have a timeline or a specific location yet for that, Adrian. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.